Hi, this is Matthew Robert Payne. This is chapter five in uh, a comprehensive prof prof prophet's manual. Uh, this will be chapter five on a playlist on a YouTube uh, channel of mine. Uh, so if you're watching this video, you can go back and watch the four videos before it. Um, this uh, chapter is going to be called If All Christians Can Be Prophetic, Why Not You? We were sharing in the last chapter that perfect illustration that the Holy Spirit came up with that overhearing um, this other uh, mother's daughter expressing how much she loved her mum, how proud she was of the mum and the fact that it distresses her that her mother doesn't think she's a good mother. And uh, if you're a mother, if you're a female, you could probably understand this more clearly, how so many uh, women struggle uh, with uh, the understanding that they're a good mother. And uh, imagine giving a mother two or three characteristics of how good she is as a mother, how, how uh, she operates as a mother. Imagine uh, giving a total stranger uh, uh, a message saying what a good mother she is. And these are the four ways that she's a good mother. She's very giving. She's really giving to her children. She'll sacrifice. She's self-sacrificial. Uh, she's very organized. She organizes things for her daughters and her sons very well. Uh, she's, uh, she's very compliant. She, she complies to their wishes. And she bends over backwards to, to achieve uh, what they need to achieve. And you went through four characteristics that made the mother a good mother. So you, you not only told her that, um, that she was a good mother, but you told her four different ways that she was. And as you shared each of them, the mother realized that, yes, she is that. Yes, she is that. Yes, she is that. Yes, she is that. Um, why wouldn't you want to do that? Why wouldn't you have the ability just to walk up to any mother and share that with with uh, with her? And uh, you see, you see, I tell you, I've seen it hundreds of times. You see, the mother's eyes just fill with tears, and um, all that insecurity, uh, you know, fade away. And and you know this could be the mother of that daughter and and you've walked in on her without being the friend you've walked up to a woman and told her that and you you may have told her the day after she heard the story about her daughter and it was just jesus reinforcing this part that she's a really good mother you may have walked up to her in a shopping center and shared uh, that you just wanted to share a message with her and that she's a really good mother in these four specific ways. And you just see her tears. I um, often uh, prophesy to, uh, to uh, women, and uh, I prefer women, but I, I do prophesy to men too. And uh, one time I walked past this really young, stunning young girl she's about 17 years of age and she was stunning and uh i what i got a word of knowledge like uh characteristic characteristics about uh the girl's personality that were really good but i didn't uh have the courage to give it to her because she was so stunning and um i i was uh traveling and i was sent back by the lord i was almost rebuked by the Lord and he told me to go back and I went back uh, to the girl and shared with her I said you know everyone that looks at you thinks that you're so pretty and you're so gorgeous but you've just got such compassion you've just got so much love in you for the average person and you don't see the alcoholic, you don't see the drunk, you don't see the businessman, you don't judge everyone, you judge anyone. You've just got, uh, you know, tremendous love and understanding and compassion in you. And, you know, the cliche says beautiful inside and out. And uh, everyone comments on your beauty. Everyone tells you how beautiful you are. 
but you don't realize how beautiful you are inside you, you know your 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 attractiveness just doesn't even compare to how beautiful you are inside and i i said that she's very giving and she's very good with her money and she likes to share and she's very kind and uh, i shared all these things and i there was an older woman with her and i said are you her mother and i said yeah i said do you agree with these things and uh, she said yeah thank you and as i walked away the mother said see i've been telling you this for years why won't you believe me why does it take a guy to come up and tell you all these things I've been telling you for years and I, I was reminded by the Holy Spirit that, I, you know, the reason why uh, I was getting distracted from not giving the prophetic word is this stunning girl really needed to hear it. How would you like to deliver words like that? Um, what's stopping you? What's stopping you from uh, delivering prophetic words like that? If we can all be prophetic, what's stopping you? There's so many stories, you know. I was at a shopping center and the uh, and same shopping center and uh, there's a guy walking up with his girlfriend and uh, I walked up to her and said, excuse me, I've got a gift. And from time to time, I get a message from a person. Today, I've got a message for you. And I just launched into the fact that he's going to be successful in business and I said, are you a couple? And they said, yeah. And I said, this is the man for you. This is the one you should be with. You've been wondering whether he's the right one for you and he's the right one for you. He's uh, who God has designed to be your partner. And um, as I was prophesying over her, I was looking at her, I saw a pentagram on her, on her shirt. I realized I was prophesying over a witch. Well, um, 10 minutes later, I was downstairs shopping and, uh, and the warlock, the, the boyfriend, came down, astral traveled down to see me and he was thanking me so much for reassuring his girlfriend that he was the right one. He was so thankful. He just popped down to say thanks uh, for prophesying over my girlfriend. Uh, so you can encourage anyone. And I know that's a bit of a freaky story, but I live in the supernatural so wouldn't you like to be someone who delivered, you know, uh, we don't live in a, a, a day where people send star mail anymore, people send email and there's not a lot of letters getting written. But if what if... Um, we lived in days where, where you could just deliver a beautiful letter to someone. Wouldn't you like to be a person that just delivers beautiful news to people every day? Wouldn't you like to be a person who, who um, could put a um, voucher for, for two um, donuts in someone's mailbox every day? What if, what if you had uh, um, a donut maker, Donut King, I think you've got in the United States. What if you had a whole lot of Donut King vouchers that you could put in people's mailboxes and say you've got a, a voucher at your local store for four donuts? Wouldn't you like to have that job, just going from mailbox to mailbox, putting those vouchers in the mailbox? And uh, as you walk up, sometimes people are mowing the lawn or, or watering the garden and they ask you what you've got and you give it to them and they say, oh, that's so wonderful to see the joy in their eyes and the joy in their face. Wouldn't you like a job like that, that all you did was bless people and make people happy? That's the prophetic. Moving in the prophetic is just doing that. Jesus hasn't got... Jesus mostly hasn't got bad words to say to people and they're just so beautiful. It's so encouraging and it's such a blessing to share messages with people. And uh, so I've been doing, like I said, 25 years, 30 years and, and, and uh, been, I've been doing it long before I realized that uh, it was a gift of the Holy Spirit. I went to a Pentecostal church and uh, and that's part of the reason I've spent so much money on this manual. Um, 
I went to a Pentecostal church uh, with a, a roommate and uh, they had this live band and, you know, electric guitars and drums and I'd never been in a church so active. And they taught on the gifts of the Holy Spirit. When they ta taught on word of knowledge, word of wisdom and prophecy, I realized that I had those gifts because they were explaining what I'd been doing in my taxi and, I, and uh, then I got baptized in the Holy Spirit, but I got the gift of tongues with baptism in the Holy Spirit, but um, I, I didn't know. And they taught on prophecy. I was, I was so happy that I already had that gift. I knew how to do that gift. And so prophecy is an amazing thing. Having the ability uh, to prophesy to people is amazing. So why don't you take it up? Why don't you choose uh, to activate your gift. And uh, in uh, chapter 55, we've got uh, activation of, of the prophetic gift and mantles uh, for me to pass on to people. And so if, if you want the gift of prophecy, just skip to chapter 55 and uh, you can uh, have me, you can pray a prayer and activate the gift. And at the end of praying the prayer, uh, I'll invite you to write me an email and prophesy over me and practice your new gift on me. And uh, uh, everyone who writes to me and prophesies, I'll send them an email, giving them encouragement and showing them how right they were. God bless.